middle rash or butterfly rash is a sign that is frequently seen in patients with lupus. And it is the cause of much anxiety and worry in people who develop rashes on the face. In this video, we'll examine the various causes of a Miller or butterfly rash. Anyone who's familiar with lupus can be frightened if they develop a Miller or butterfly rash in their face. They know that the Miller or butterfly rash frequently accompanies the lupus. A Miller rash is a red rash that appears on the nose and on the cheeks and that tends to spare the narrow area between the nose and the cheeks. And many people believe that the appearance of a Miller rash is, is a diagnosis of lupus. But that is not the case. Although the Miller rash often appears in patients with SLE and lupus, not every patient that has lupus has a Miller rash. The Miller rash in lupus can present months or even years before the onset of systemic symptoms. It can appear spontaneously or it can appear after exposure to sunlight. The rash can be raised or it can be flat and it can last for weeks to months. Many patients with lupus report that the onset of the Miller rash tends to signal an oncoming flare in their disease. The Miller rash can present in a variety of illnesses. And in fact, SLV or lupus is not the most common cause of Miller rash, but rather rosacea is the most frequent cause of a Miller rash. Rosacea is an inflammatory condition of the skin of unknown etiology. In rosacea, there's inflammation of the skin and redness that can sometimes be accompanied by the presence of pustules and bumps and uh, dilated blood vessels. Rosacea is never accompanied by systemic symptoms such as fever or chills. Another condition that can present with a mirror or, or butterfly rash is erysipelas which is a superficial infection of the skin. And erysipelas will often present with systemic symptoms such as fever and chills and malaise. This condition can be treated with antibiotics. Another condition that can present as a male rash is cellulitis of these areas. And cellulitis usually would not present with systemic symptoms like fever Gels. And the rash that we see in cellulitis is less well demarcated than the rash that we see in erysipelas. This too is an infection of the skin, but of the deeper structures in the skin. Dermatomyositis is an inflammatory condition of the muscles that is accompanied by inflammation in the skin. No one knows what really causes dermatomyositis. Allegra is a condition that is caused by a deficiency of vitamin B3 or niacin. And during the early part of the 20th century, it appeared in epidemics in Italy and Spain and in the southern United States. We now know that the milling process that was used to process corn at that time removed the germ from the corn, which was the part of the corn that contained the life-saving vitamin B3, niacin, and other nutrients. So that once the diet was supplemented with vitamin B3, patients' rashes disappeared and eventually the epidemics ceased. Pelegra is a condition that presents with rashes on the face and on other parts of the body. And it's typically characterized by the four Ds, the four Ds being diarrhea, dementia, and dermatitis, and occasional death even. A Miller rash is not a diagnosis of lupus. The 
best way to differentiate between the various causes of a nail rash is to see a medical provider who can do a thorough physical examination and take a good history. If that is not enough, then a biopsy of the area with laboratory testing can provide a definitive diagnosis. The nail rash of lupus usually presents with lupus markers in the blood, such as the antinuclear antibody, or the anti-Smith antibody, or the anti-double-stranded DNA antibody. So that these two can help to rule out lupus. Thank you for watching. If you found the video useful, please share, leave your comments in the space below. You can support the channel by subscribing. And until the next video, stay healthy and stay safe.